This time, China spent 60 billion on land reclamation and directly hollowed out two mountains to create the world's largest land reclamation project. All countries in the world cast envious eyes, and the United Nations claimed that another world miracle was born. How did China manage this super project? In this video, let us take a closer look. Although China has a vast land area, China is also a populous country in the world with a very large population base. So in comparison, land resources are still relatively short. In order to alleviate land resources, China has also thought of various ways. Land reclamation, in fact, is to fill the original waters through artificial ways to form land for people to live, and it can also beautify the coastline and expand the area of cultivated land, which can be said to have many benefits. However, land reclamation also requires technical support for infrastructure construction. And China, as an infrastructure fiend, has a plan for such a big project. What we know today is the land reclamation project in Wanzhou. Wanzhou is located in the southeast coastal area of Zhejiang, China. Surrounded by the sea, the city has a tidal flat land of up to 953,900 mu, and there are many mountains and hills. With the expansion of urbanization scale, under the pressure of population and traffic, Wanzhou land resources have also begun to become particularly tight. If the government wants to expand the urban area, it can only do so by reclaiming the sea or flattening the mountains. Considering that the city is mostly hilly and mountainous terrain, the relevant departments of the Wanzhou government after field investigation and research decided to carry out reclamation and development in the Ojiang River and Feiyun River and the coastal shoal area in the east. This project is also known as Ofei Project. The goal of the Ofei Project is to build a new type of sea city through land reclamation so as to alleviate the shortage of land resources in Wanzhou. The Wanzhou government is deeply aware of its severe shortcomings in terms of terrain and terrain, so it has been committed to increasing the city's land resources through effective measures over the years. Regarding artificial reclamation, this measure is not a new term. Both China and Japan have used artificial reclamation to increase the land area. With the gradual maturity and vigorous development of land reclamation technology, the Wanzhou municipal government has put its mind on this measure of artificial land reclamation. In order to build the city of Wanzhou on the sea, China has obtained more than 500,000 mu of land through reclamation and reclamation, and has been advancing continuously. This is a large-scale land reclamation in China and the world. Many people think that to fill the sea with soil, as long as there is enough soil to push into the sea, it will be fine. In fact, it is far from as simple as we imagined. It is necessary to comprehensively measure the geographical environment of the area and various indicators to accurately determine whether it is suitable. In fact, as early as 2010, the Wanzhou municipal government had already started to prepare for the construction of this project. It was not until 2018 that the Wanzhou Ofei project was officially approved for construction. As the largest individual reclamation project in China, the project has not yet been fully completed. If the overall project is successfully completed, it is estimated that the reclamation area will reach more than 500,000 mu, which is equivalent to 320 square kilometers of land or even double the total area of Wanzhou's built-up area. At that time, not only will the land shortage problem faced by Wanzhou city be completely solved, but it will also directly promote the economic development level of the entire Wanzhou city. For such a huge project, its investment intensity and project cost are naturally not small numbers. 
the total known investment amount is as high as 60 billion yuan. However, relative to the improvement of Wanzhou's comprehensive level in the future, these investments are worth the money. OFE project as a whole can be seen as divided into two phases of construction. The first phase of the project is mainly between the Ojiang River estuary and the Feiyun River estuary. At present, the area under construction is the OFE Phase I reclamation project which is mainly spread along the beach between the two rivers, and the coastal dike is as long as 33.6 kilometers. The reclamation project is divided into two stages, the south and the north, is expected to invest 27.29 billion, take more than nine years to complete, a total reclamation land area of more than 130,000 mu. In addition, the first phase of the OFE project also includes the second phase of the Longwan Enclosure Project, the second phase of the Dingshan Reclamation Project, and the third phase of the Dingshan Enclosure Project. The second phase of Longwan is located on the east side of the OFE Phase 1 Reclamation Project. The total reclamation area is about 34,000 mu. The total investment of the project is nearly 1.9 billion, and it is expected to be completed within a four-year construction period. At present, the main body of Longwan Phase II coating project has been completed in early 2017. The Dingshan Phase III reclamation project has been preliminarily completed, and the Dingshan Phase II reclamation project is currently under construction. Moreover, in order to provide materials such as sand, gravel and filling soil for the reclamation project, the two large mountain stockyards of Dongtu Niyu and Fenghuangshan were mined and built for this purpose, with reserves of 87.34 million cubic meters and 39.64 million cubic meters respectively. The reclamation area of the first phase of the OFE project has reached more than 200,000 mu, which is equivalent to the construction area of the entire urban area of Wanzhou. It is not an exaggeration to say that Wanzhou can be recreated. After the first phase of OFE project has been roughly revealed, the study of the second phase of OFE comprehensive development project has also been put on the agenda. Compared with the first phase of reclamation project, the sea area of the second phase is larger, reaching 430,000 mu. It is mainly surrounded by the north embankment of 16.2 kilometers, the east embankment of 23.26 kilometers, and the south embankment of 10.36 kilometers. The total area of the final reclamation is planned to be more than 290,000 mu. However, due to the strengthening of China's management of land reclamation-related projects, the progress of the second phase of the OFE project has not been carried out as scheduled. As for the postponement of the second phase of the OFE project, it is mainly due to the construction of large-scale reclamation projects in coastal areas in recent years, which have had a certain impact on the ecological environment of the sea area. When it comes to good dams, we still have great expectations for it. As another large-scale reclamation project in Zhujiang after the Xiaoshan reclamation project, the significance of implementing the OFE project is very obvious. In the context of limited land resources restricting urban development, OFE project will redevelop the main platform for urban development. In terms of fisheries and the environment, the OFE project can greatly alleviate the flooding problems of the Ojiang River and Feiyun River, and improve the disaster reduction capacity of the urban area. Building the fishery breeding area formed by the OFE project can integrate ecology, life and production. With the successful construction of the OFE project, Wanzhou, which will have a new look at that time, will give us an incomparable shock.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.